New York Yankees fans yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, let's use some common sense right here. Remember a few years ago, I'll say about over six years ago, Brian Cashman being the ultimate fanboy Greg Bird? This guy thought, um, you can see it though, uh, Greg Bird had talent before he became injury prone. And I see a few Twitter um, users not the majority saying that um, Greg Bird had an excellent uh, stint in AAA, hit about like 27 home runs, and they're saying that uh, the Yankees should invite him to spring training or something like that. In my opinion, for me, that's a hard pass. So the reason why I bring up Greg Bird is because he's the type of player that Cashman likes. Before there was Aaron Judge, before there was a... Uh, I'll say Gary Sanchez. He, he, Gary Sanchez is another player that uh, Brian Cashman has loved. Before uh, Glaber Torres, Miguel Andujar, etc., Greg Bird was literally the one player Cashman liked the most. And the reason why I bring up Bird is because Matt Olson is what Brian Cashman envisioned Greg Bird turning out to be. And this is one of the main reasons why I believe Matt Olson will become a New York Yankee. We all know the stats, right, on Olson: A career high in home runs, 39. A career high in RBIs, 111. An all-star first baseman. He has about, what, uh, two more seasons before he's a free agent. He's won two gold gloves. The guy is the complete package. He's another tall, lanky type of player, uh, Again, the type of player that Cashman likes. And no, I'm not a fan of signing Rizzo. I think Rizzo's getting up there in age. You can see him slowing down a bit. He's uh, packing a little bit of weight as well. And I, I think it's not a chance that the Yankees sign Freeman either. That one is more of a pipe dream. But let's talk realistically. The Yankees have a great chance in acquiring and training for Matt Olson. All you really have to do is include Glaber Torres in the package. And, you know, a couple of more names like uh, Luke Voigt and a few minor leaguers. And that should get it done. It's easy peasy. And the reason why, you know, I don't really like to bash Glaber Torres. I think Glaber Torres has all the talent in the world. But um, with DJ LeMahieu being locked up for seasons to come, I think it's just stupid to keep rotating DJ LeMahieu, first base, uh, second base, third base, just playing him in his natural position, second base, which we know he's going to perform at 100%. And if you follow me on Twitter, I sent this a couple of weeks ago. I said, would you, somebody asked a question about Rizzo. Uh, would you re-sign Rizzo? And I said, what do you, what's worse, re-signing Rizzo or the Red Sox trading for Olsen? And vice versa, what do you think is worse? Um... Uh, Training for Olsen and the Red Sox signing Rizzo. Yeah, I think we all know the answer to that. Training for Olsen is the better option. Because we all know, like the Yankees, the Red Sox are hunting for a first baseman. And don't give me that crap that the Red Sox don't have the prospects or the players to land Olsen. They certainly do and have proved it time and time again. So in the perfect world, again, I repeat this, my infield will look like uh, first base, Matt Olsen, second base, DJ LeMahieu, shortstop, Carlos Correa, third base, Gio Urshela. And since Odor has been DFA'd, I would bring up the Atlanta Braves and try to trade for Johan Carmago. As I'm speaking now, by the way, happy Thanksgiving to all of you Yankees fans out there. Landing Carlos Correa or a Corey Seager seems like a pipe dream as um, there's been talk that the Yankees don't want to bring on another 300 plus million contract. And to be honest with you guys, Cashman, since the time he traded for John Carlos Stanton, it's obvious to see that we're not going to, let's say, get a position player worth that much. For years to come, because, right, um, John Carlos Stanton is our Bryce Harper. He's our Manny Machado. He's going to be our Carlos Correa. He's going to be our Corey Seager. So, yes, John Carlos Stanton earned his pinstripes last season. 
I think he's great. I think he's a great player. But if you're going to pay somebody that much, hmm, maybe you shouldn't be paying that much for a DH. And to be honest with you guys, if John Carlos Stanton's value was at an all-time high as a New York Yankee, the time is now as the National League is about to adopt DH. And it wouldn't surprise me if teams would ring up the Yankees for John Carlos Stanton. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I would make that. I would listen to those offers because that contract or that trade has been lingering the Yankees and making them shy in acquiring or signing another superstar player. Like I mentioned previously, Bryce Harper, Manny Machado. Now we're going to see where the Cordy Seager, Carlos Correa, etc. And I, I know what you guys are going to say. What about Gary Cole? But, but that's different. That's uh, pitching. I'm talking about position players. So what my gut feeling tells me what the Yankees are really going to do, they're going to sign a player like uh, Simmons or Galvis to play a shortstop uh, as a short gap. And, you know, we're already being sold upon the future with uh, Volpe and Peraza. Hey, nothing against those guys. Those guys seem like they're great talents. But we've seen that before. We could have got um, Gary Cole a few seasons ago for Chance Adams and Clint Frazier. Fast forward now, both of those players have been DFA'd. So, you know, I don't want to be sold on these baby bombers because it's a broken record. I mean, if the Yankees were the Yankees and functioning like the Yankees, uh, Carlos Correa or Corey Seager would have been signed a long-ass time ago. Or we would be hearing chatter uh, about the Yankees uh almost signing these players but um realistically we're living in different times these are not the bosses yankees so your infield might look like matt Olson, dj lemayhew simmons and Gio urshela and hey if you ask me there's a 99.9 percent chance the yankees trade for matt Olson. i could just uh, feel it so that's my opinion on the whole matter you guys leave your opinions in the comment section below like always this has been Felix from lynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.